is my name. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite Nintendo DS games. The Nintendo DS was a very innovative system. It was one of the first times that Nintendo decided to branch out and to do, uh, you know, multiple screens on a cartridge-based system that they were going to produce on a mass scale. Um, you know, it was is very innovative. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. Um, you know, they used uh, door hinges or a door hinge design to try to stabilize the screens for flip top and stuff like that. And, um, <clears throat> you know, they just did a great job with the system. And, uh, you know, these are some of my favorite games. Um, you know, uh, they're not in any particular order. And uh, uh, I don't know yet if I'm going to be doing emulation to try to do some screen capture or if uh, if I'm just going to show you guys some pictures of the games. But um, again, they're not in any particular order, but you know, here we go. It's a Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, 2006 by Konami. You know what? Uh, it, it's another Castlevania game. It's very well done. Uh, you know, I, I've always enjoyed all of the Castlevania portable games, um, you know, or all of the ones that are Metroidvania style. Uh, <clears throat> you know the difficulty is just right. Uh, you know, getting the gears and the uh, the gear and the upgrades and stuff like that is, you know, at a good good level progression. You know, just everything just fits so nicely. And it, you know, by this time they're they've gotten really polished, and they just they know the formula. They know what they're doing. Next up, we have Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Released in 2000 by Square Enix. Um, again, you know I'm a major Final Fantasy Tactics fan. Uh, you know this game also delivers. You know, it's just really a lot of fun, and you know definitely worth your time. Uh, I, I love all of the tactical RPG games and stuff like that, and it's just a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> highly suggest it for anyone's collection. Speaking of tactical RPGs, so uh, this next one is basically if Final Fantasy Tactics and Chrono Trigger had a baby. And that is Luminous Arc, released 2007 by Image Epoch. I hope I got that name right. Um, and like I said, it's a tactical game and it's like Chrono Trigger at the same time beautiful colors, beautiful stages, uh, you know, the job class system is wonderful. Um, you can pull things like double techs and triple techs and stuff like that. And you can do player versus player, which is awesome. Um, you can do player versus player in some of the older Final Fantasy Tactics games, except for like the first one. Um, but Luminous Art was just really really well done and you know it's just unbelievable how good that game is and how unnoticed it went um, I don't I don't really hear a lot of people talking about luminous art but um, please do check it out I mean just just look at it watch some gameplay you know find find some way to enjoy this game okay next up we have Animal Crossing Wild World I know, I know, it's an Animal Crossing game, but I liked Wild World just because it was portable and, and everything was just, you know, pretty well done with it, and um, it was released 2005 by Nintendo, um, so, you know, it's it's just this really fun game, uh, you got to play multiplayer with people, you know, it's all the standard uh, Animal Crossing stuff, it's just, this is one of the ones that you could actually turn around and play, you know, on the go with it. And then, the last one I'm going to talk about is Luminous Arc 2. And again, yes, it is exactly like the first one, with just the continuation of the story. It's released 2008 by Marvelous uh, Entertainment Incorporated. And, you know, they just, they did a great job with this game. Uh, the special edition came out, which I think is the only edition that came out. 
it comes with like an extra box that goes on the outside of it that contains the game in a normal DS case and it contains the soundtrack for the game. Um, again, I, I really love Luminous Arc 2. I really hope that someday, eventually, we get access to Luminous Arc 3, which was only released in Japan. Um, I know the series didn't do that well over here, but I'm really hoping that some sort of company like uh, Gaijin Works comes along and decides to translate it over for us so that we can we can have some enjoyment with this game. I mean, it, it would it could fit on the uh, 3DS and you know be in the uh, in a digital download or something. I just I really want the third one to come out. The first one was so good. And the second one didn't even let up one bit. It just, it just kept on going down that road. And I can only imagine how good the third one is. Well, that's it for this episode of Mermaid Designs. I'm your host, Mermaid. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below.